Hey everybody, how's it going? It's your boy Green Steve here with another video. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit different than the trading cards that I've been doing normally. This one is going to be a let's play with a game that I haven't played since I think around 2006, around the time it came out. And I believe I only played it one time. <laughs> Had only one time that I played through it. I played through the first, second, and third gen a bunch of times. By the time the fourth gen came out, uh, I was, you know, I was kind of getting to that age where Pokemon was kind of leaving my my life, uh, and then the fifth gens and the other gens came out, and then we started having, you know, trash cans and ice cream cones, and I kind of started losing interest. But I got older and had kids, and I'm regaining my interest. And today we are playing Pokemon Diamond. Uh, basically, another reason I'm playing this game not just because I've only played it once, but we do have Pokemon Di uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Uh, coming out in just a few months and I do kind of want to get a refresher if I am going to get those games uh, I do like I mentioned I have kids so definitely gonna be getting those games to play with uh, my kids and uh, yeah I hope you enjoy this uh, playthrough let's go ahead and get started Alright, first time back in in a long time. Let's go. Again, I do apologize about the mic. It kind of catches my voice in and out. I hope you guys hear me alright. Hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any further, is this your first adventure? If you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving it. Uh, control info, adventure info. Nah, I don't need no info. I know I haven't played the game in a while, but I'm not new. Alright. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here, I have a Pokeball. Touch the button on the middle of the Pokeball if you'd please. Alright, touch it. And out came out of Munchlocks, look at that. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. Usually they have like a Nidoran or a Pikachu or something like that. At times we play together and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little about yourself? Hmm. Are you a boy or a girl? Definitely a boy. <laughs> Alright, so you're a boy, yes. Tell me, what is your name? Ooh. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, Green Steve doesn't fit on here. Should I go with Green or Steve? Let's go with Steve, just to keep it simple. Green. Yeah. Steve. Alright. Your name is Steve? Yes. Okay, so you're Steve. A fine name, that is. Now this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? Barry. You know what's funny? This isn't, um, we got Barry Allen, and then what's his, uh, frick, I forgot his, uh, uh, son's name or whatever. The grand, the grandson. I forget his name. Doesn't he have blonde hair? I just think it's funny, him, Barry. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> New name. Okay. Uh, I'll name him Green. Because I couldn't name myself Green. And then I'll just be like Green Steve talking to himself the whole fucking game. Alright. Green. Is it? That's your friend's name. I didn't even say that like a question. I said it like a sentence. That's your friend's name? There you go. Yes. Let's go. 
Oh, again, sorry about the movement. All right, Steve, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure along the way you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on, leap into the world of Pokemon. Alright, cool. Mm. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, however, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored red Gyarados failed to appear even fleetingly to the Crescent Fallen Team. Oh, the Crest Fallen Team? Even fleeting. Okay. <laughs> that concludes our special report. Search for the Red Gyarados. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week. Same time, same channel. All right. Jubilife TV. That's that's the name of this uh the town, right? All right let's do the uh, standard Pokemon thing. Get this uh, potion that's in here. Oh, no, there's no potion. There's only tips. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, so I'm going to start with no potion. The X button opens. Oh, more tips. Okay, cool. All right, let's get this game started. Uh, oh. Mom. Steve. Green came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what it was about... But he said it was an emergency. <laughs> it's gonna throw me off every time. He says Greek, so I'm gonna think about myself. Oh, oh yes, yeah, Steve, don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, she just, okay. <laughs> Dead or my. Don't you so go. All right. Thanks, Mom. Appreciate that. Oh. Wow. Did they just like copy and paste? Because <laughs> this looks exactly like the trailers. Wow, this looks good. Actually, I don't remember it looking like this. It's been a long time since I played DS. And this is a ROM, so that's actually saying something. Technology just blows me away. I mean, now you can play with people around the world wirelessly. All right. <laughs> Yeah, remember when Pallet Town, there was like a way to go down right from the beginning, so it gives you a reason to come back to your hometown, or like the second gen, where, you know, you know, I, I miss that stuff, where they give you a reason to come back to your hometown, you know, stuff like this, like, I'll never come back. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Explore all the houses. Fuck, I button controls. Gotta get used to them. Or I gotta move that. Okay. Did you hear the Pokemon professor return to the next town over? They say he was gone for four long years. I wonder if he found some amazing Pokemon when he was gone. He probably did. Send him out of here. Oh. Nope. Oh. Not even close there. Okay. Listen, listen, Steve. I want a cute Pokemon. Alright. Okay. Give me one sec. I'll be right back. I'm just going to fix these controls. And I'm back. All right, cool. Got that fixed. So hopefully, yeah, feels a lot better. All right. You might notice a bit of my button changes, but not that big a deal. Oh, I'm back home. What am I doing? All right. It's true that while Pokemon do attack people sometimes. However, Pokemon also let you become friends with them. Okay. Hello? You're off to hang with Green again, right? You two sure are tight. <laughs> Alright, let's go find Green. Oh, dud. Green, what was that about? Oh, hey, Steve. What was that about, bro? You ran out the door. Hey, I'm going to the lake. You come to and be quick about it. Okay, Steve. I'm finding you $1 million if you're late. 
I'm just so thrown off because I keep forgetting that's not me talking. Oh, geez, forget, forgot something. What the hell? All right, let's go. All right. Green's mom. Oh, hi, Steve. Are you looking for Green? He was gone for a second, but then he came running back home. He just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder who he takes after. The fucking... The Allens. Boy, this is fast like the Flash. <laughs> I'd better take a take my bag and journal too. Oh, hey Steve. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a ten million dollar fight if you're late. Dang. Fine went up. Alright. By the way, I think you guys know who I'm gonna be picking as a starter. No, since Gen 1, my favorite was Bulbasaur. I'm definitely sticking with my grass type. Hi, right, Steve. You looking for green? He just went tearing off a little while ago. He's probably not gone too far. Why not go chase after him? By the way, guys, I apologize if you seem a little off. It's like 4 in the morning. <laughs> I was making the other video that I posted earlier. All right. Hey, you saw that news report that was on TV, right? You know, search for the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in a lake? That show got me to thinking. I'll bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that in it too. So that's what we're going to do and we'll go find a Pokemon like that. I got to change the settings for the uh, typing or the letters. Be faster. Or text. I don't know why I say letter. Uh... Can I, not, can I press pause? Uh, okay. Oh, is that how? Oh, okay, that's why. Oh, okay, so uh, I forgot we don't need those anymore. Oh, yeah, all right, so there you go. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, what do I do? Okay, uh, let's change the frame. Oh, let's do that. Perfect. And let's exit. Okay. So, do I just, oh, he's, okay, he's coming with me. I don't remember any of this. Uh, like I said, I played it once. I remember beating the game, it's just, okay, let me, let me go left. Cause that seems like the right way to go, and I never go the right way the first time. <laughs> Unless I'm going the right way now. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm going. Yeah, never mind. I lied. I take that back. I always go the right way the first time, <laughs> but not on purpose. Remember what your mother said, Steve. Don't go into. Oh yeah. I mean, okay, it'll be okay if you had your own Pokemon. See, I've been spoiled recently with. Sword and shield, so... Oh, jeez. Keep running. And so, like, you know, we can see the Pokemon that we run into, and... So I didn't think anything about the grass. It'll be nice going back to that. Alright, to the lake, let's find us a red Gyarados. Green, what's going on? Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side, either. Hmm, I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but fine. Dawn, we're leaving. Professor, how are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh? After being away for four years, it must be exciting again. Hmm, there's one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regard to our studies. As recording's going a while, I think I'm gonna be able to get my starter today. <laughs> Excuse me, let us pass, please. Jeez. I beg your pardon, we'll be on our way. Bet. All right. What was that about, those two? Huh, Steve? Let's go check this out. What's that? 
Don't go into the tall grass. No problem. No problem. We won't be in there long enough for a wild Pokemon. Come on. Oh, now it's all right, bro. This this dude, bro. Oh, my God. It's a briefcase. Those people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? <laughs> I can't believe this guy. He's one of those friends that, like, it's only all right to do bad shit if it's, you know, them doing the bad shit. But it's like, bro, you, you can't do that. Don't do that. That's wrong. And they're like, no, nah, no, nah, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> Those people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? Okay, I already read that. Okay. We can try to deliver it, but who are they? I heard them say, Professor. Oh, bro, you said we wouldn't be attacked? <laughs> well, po Pokemon? <laughs> What's going on? All right. It's time, baby. Look, these are Pokeballs. Let's battle using these. Uh, which one do you want? Who's this? Oh. Turtwig. Yes. Let's go. I actually like Turtwig very really much too because uh, when he first got introduced, I loved the uh, two type combo with him. He was, he was actually really great. Made it so I didn't need to get an extra person or that second typing on my team. Let's hit this Starly with a tackle. Okay, that was actually pretty cool. So in my my on my headphones, when I hit him, the sound effect goes to my right ear. When he hits me, it goes to my left. Wonder if that happens to you guys. All right, or maybe they just made it that way. We just never knew unless we had our headphones in. All right. Turtwig. Oh, I didn't read that, my bad. But my chim chart was way tougher than yours. I'm sorry, I read that in my head. They were other people's Pokemon though. But we had to use them. They won't mind, will they? Jeez, I must have zoned out right there. I just battled the Pokemon without really saying much. <laughs> oh, there's the briefcase. The professor would have been furious if I'd lost it. Huh? Oh no. Did you did you use the Pokemon in here? You did? Oh my gosh. What's the professor going to say? This is not good. Oh, this is so not good. I'll take this briefcase for you. I'm so bad at reading this right now. It's so late. I'm tired. What was that about? I don't know what's going on, Steve. Let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from that battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. You saying my Pokemon? Did he have Pokemon? Or are you talking about the one he just stole? <laughs> oh, man. This guy is hilarious. Oh, jeez. Okay. You go ahead. I know we have to... Go return these Pokemon. They're not ours. But I wanted to just spend a little more time with this little guy. Yeah. Yeah, that's us. But guess what I'm about to do? I'm about to do the same. Let's see if I can go to the grass. I got a Pokemon now. So oh, darn. I can't. We should have went back. Went to the grass over there. Hey, it's those people. Is that old guy staring at us? Hmm. I heard from Dawn that you use our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Hmm. Turtwig and Chimchar. I see, that's how it is. Don, I'm going back to my lab. Uh, okay. Um, yes, Professor, please wait for me. I think you should visit our lab later. Okay, see you. Green, what was that all about? Oh, what was all that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And they didn't even want their Pokemon back. Guys, do not be mad at me with all the errors I'm making tonight. I'm so sorry. My reading is so off tonight. Okay, Steve, we should go home too. Oh, ah, I don't get to do anything. What's going on here? Hmm, what's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that you, both you and Green, are unharmed? 
The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sangem. Sangem Town or San Gem Town? San Gem. I believe it might be San Gem Town. I don't know. I've heard that he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he's also quite intimidating. Steve, I think you need to visit him in San Gem Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure you will understand. Oh, I know, Steve. Put these on. Steve received a pair of running shoes. Going to San Gem Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. Press the B button and dash about faster than ever before. Put on the running shoes and blaze new trails of adventure. Well, isn't that just nifty? Okay. Thanks, Mom. Uh, so I can't name turrets we get. And I gotta go to New Town. But the video's getting pretty long, so I'm actually going to go ahead and cut it right here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have watched this long, uh, if you do like the video, please leave a like. Do subscribe. Uh, as you know, as every other YouTube says, <laughs> it helps us a lot. Uh, so I really would appreciate it. Um, I will be making a part two maybe tomorrow. All right, guys. Have a wonderful night. Take care. Peace out.